Does it look in pajamas today? I'm not, I swear. This is like a flannel. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video. Uh, I did it before a long, long time ago on my channel and it was about growing your hair and I had started um, taking vitamins like biotin. I believe it was biotin and I was going to keep track of how my hair was growing, yada, yada, yada. So that didn't last very long. I'm pretty sure I colored my hair or I chopped it off or something. I don't know. Um, but today I am just going to go over basic do's and don'ts if you're trying to grow your hair out or make your hair healthy or you have damaged hair and you're trying to get it back. Whatever the case may be, this is going to help you. As long as you follow most of these rules, your, your hair should be either growing faster or becoming a lot more healthy and manageable. And yeah, these are just my tips as a stylist on what you can do to make your hair healthier and grow faster. So my first tip that probably everybody knows and everybody tells you when you're trying to grow your hair and make your hair healthy is do not wash your hair. Now, me personally, I wash my hair maximum once a week and I try to go longer but now that I'm blonde it's a lot harder because it just gets very like greasy and like um, weighed down at my roots so yeah but I try my best and I use different products to extend the life of my hair but you need to be washing your hair maximum twice a week if you do every other day every day your hair is going to be dry, brittle, it's not going to grow, it's not going to have the oils it needs that come from your head to um, help it grow. It's just going to be dry and not like just, I don't care what masks you put on, I don't care if any of that stuff. If you're washing your hair every day or every other day, your hair is going to hate you. It's just not going to be good. So for me personally, I have used dry shampoo for a while now. I usually use Batiste, I have a couple of cans of this, but I find, especially now that my hair is blonde, this stuff dries my scalp out so bad that I, I don't have dandruff, but my scalp just gets so dry and flaky from the dry shampoo, and I will use it if I need it, like if I really, really need my oils like soaked up, but um, I've started using dry texture sprays instead of dry shampoos, and it works amazing. And it doesn't dry your hair out at all. Well, like a little bit, but not as much as a dry shampoo at all. So I have two different dry shampoo, or, sorry, I have two different texturizing sprays here. This one is from Kenra. It's the dry texture spray. I just got this from my local um, beauty supply store. Um, and yeah, this one's really, really good. It smells really good. I really like Kenra, so that's a really good one. And then I also have this one. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to get this, but if you are a professional, um, you might be able to get your hands on this, or you can buy it at your local salon if they sell Davinus products. I know my salon sells, sells Davinus, so I can get my hands on this. And this is their, uh, this is a dry texturizer, and it says it's for instant full bodied hair so it definitely gives lots of volume it does in my opinion I think this one says on it that it soaks up oil and I think all dry texture sprays there's a fly in my room uh, <laughs> all dry texture sprays absorb your oils so um, it's kind of like hairspray but dry shampoo like mixed together if that makes any sense so it's hairspray and dry shampoo where dry shampoo gives you lots of volume but um, hairspray makes your hair stay put together. I don't know, but it's amazing. So I'm obsessed with this one. This one smells like heaven. <laughs> if you guys have smelled any of the Davinus products, you'll know this smells, to me it smells like marshmallows. To some people it smells like cotton candy. Um, it's different for everybody, but it smells so, like I wish they had like a perfume for this because I would wear it because it smells so good. So yes, and this one retails for, I believe, my price was 35 yours is probably more than that because um, I get a discount, but this was 35 and then this one I believe was around $20, so it's up to you, but this one's a lot bigger, obviously, of a can, so. Okay, rule number two, do not use harsh shampoos. You need to be using shampoos when you do shampoo, sulfate-free, paraben-free, 
free of everything bad in your life, you need to have that. It needs to be a very, very gentle, gentle lather. You can do two shampoos. I usually do two shampoos, but I just use a gentler shampoo. And this is going to prevent you from stripping your oils completely. Um, shampoos like head and shoulders, that is gonna kill your hair. Unless you're trying to strip color out of your hair, do not use head and shoulders. I don't care if you have dandruff, you drying out your scalp further with head and shoulders is not gonna help your dandruff. So do not use head and shoulders by any means. As I said, unless you're stripping out your hair color, that stuff works amazing. Um, just like volumizing shampoos that have lots of sulfate, any like drugstore shampoos, most of them, unless they say sulfate free on them, will damage your hair. So you need to find the gentlest shampoo because shampoo, sh shampooing, is one of the most damaging things you can do to your hair because you're literally stripping your hair from its natural oils. You're completely removing all of your natural oils from your hair, which essentially keeps your hair healthy and moist. So we have to do it because we use products in our hair and whatnot. But um, yeah, gentle, gentle shampoo, let me tell you. So um, the shampoo I recommend is Ion. This just happens to be one for curls. I bought this for my mom actually, and it says right on the front, sulfate free shampoo. And I'm pretty sure all of Ion shampoos are sulfate free. So, and I know Ion is very, very gentle and very um, just moisturizing and good for your hair. So you can pick this up at Sally's. It's not too expensive. They have really, really big jugs and you can buy moisturizing, volumizing, curl, whatever you have, what kind of hair you have, you can find a kind of shampoo. If you have blonde hair, you can get purple shampoo, whatever. Um, but Ion is fantastic for being very gentle and affordable. Uh, and you can also use like Davina shampoos, like more expensive, but to me it's shampoo. As long as it's gentle and it cleans your hair, it doesn't need to be super expensive. Uh, but of course it's your hair. You do whatever you need to do with it. Um, but that's just my recommendation. Uh, along with my second rule um, is you need to be conditioning and I, when I condition, this is my personal belief, I use a mask every single time I condition my hair because think about it, I only condition my hair twice a week so or once a week and people do masks once a week so in my eyes it's like I would rather use a deep 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 mask conditioner uh, for like five minutes once a week and that will be my regular conditioner and I don't have to buy two separate conditioners. That's just, in my mind, that's how I work it out. <laughs> so I have two different options for masks. One is drugstore and then the other one's more high end. So this one is my favorite drugstore conditioner or ma conditioning mask. Um, now I don't believe it's sulfate free and they do test on animals so I'm so sorry. They do test it, but the other one they don't so that's good. Um, and Davinus doesn't test on animals, Kendra doesn't test on animals. Anyways, so um, this is my favorite mask. My favorite mask in the drugstore, the best one I've ever tried, and it's the most inexpensive. This mask is usually on sale for three to five dollars, so amazing. You get a lot of product. I made my purple because I want to use it for my blonde hair, but it's not usually purple. And you get like a lot of product, you get a good amount of product. Um, it smells really, really good and it's very, very moisturizing. Like your hair is like silky smooth after. I do also enjoy the shampoo by this line, but once again, I don't believe it's sulfate free, but that one shampoo is an exception for me because I really do like it. It makes my hair very smooth and soft. But anyways, um, so you can pick this one up. It's the Total Repair 5 mask and yeah, just leave it in your hair for like five minutes, shave your legs armpits, whatever you gotta do, girl. So yes, I really, really like this one. And then the other mask I have, this one I got at the Pro Store. It is, I believe it's called Amika. 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 I don't know. Um, I feel like it's the one that all the hairdressers are like, oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. I personally think it smells horrible. Like, I really don't like the smell. Um, it just smells like really, 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 really strong floral. And I like floral, but this is like intense floral. Um, it says it's called, like the scent is sea buckthorn berry. Sea? Sea buckthorn berry. I don't know. Um, but it is the intense conditioning and repairing mask. It's pretty good. 
I honestly like this one better, but this one is pretty good. And this one, I believe, was $20. You get a lot. Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this again just because I'm not crazy about the smell, but um, I just love trying masks. Like, uh, when I go to the pro store, I'm always, like, trying new masks because it's like a, that's my conditioner. That's what I use to nourish my hair when I shampoo my hair, which is so damaging. So masks to me are like the most important hair product that you can buy is a hair mask. So if you're gonna splurge, well not necessarily splurge, but if you're gonna spend money on one thing, it would be a hair mask in my opinion. Um, they also have, which is one of my favorite masks, I don't have it because I've been trying other ones, but it's the macadamia. Ma Cut me off camera, whatever. It looks like a coconut and it's green and it's brown. Um, I'm sure I've shown it in other videos. But it's the macadamia, macadamia Deep Repair Mask. And it looks like a coconut, as I said. Um, and it is my favorite, by far, hands down, favorite mask. It's 30 bucks, a little bit pricey, but it's amazing. Your hair feels like silk after. And it works, like, until you wash your hair again, if that makes any sense. Like, for some masks, I feel like they work when you're in the shower. But once your hair dries, it's dry again. It's, like, it's like brittle and dry. But this mask, I feel like it just keeps your hair, like, good feeling. <laughs> I'm like such a hairdresser. Um, it keeps your hair feeling really nourished, like, until you wash your hair again, which is awesome. And it's one of the things I look for when I get a mask. Okay, number three. And this is, in my opinion, one of the most important. I'm going to say that for, like, every single one. This is so important. Um, this is really, really important. And it is... Do not, okay, once a month, once a month, you're allowed to blow dry your hair. If you blow your hair, blow, blow your hair, blow dry your hair more than once a month, you are severely damaging your hair because when you blow out your hair, you are blowing out your cuticle and especially if you're doing it improperly, if you're not blow drying your hair correctly in the correct direction at all times, you're going to be blowing your cuticle open and it's going to dry like that and you're you're just letting all that bad shit into your hair cuticle and now your hair is like a frizz ball. That's why your hair is a frizz ball when you blow dry it is because you're blow drying it all the time. Um, one of my friends, you know who you are if you're watching this video, um, she would blow dry her hair every day and wash her hair every day and then blow dry it and then flat iron it. And she didn't understand why her hair wasn't growing. And I told her, so and so, um, you need to stop blow drying your hair. If you blow dry your hair, that is what's pulling all the moisture out of your hair. You're literally blowing the water out of your hair. And you can't put, like you can put it back in, kind of, like put some oil on your hair. But when you're blowing the cuticle out like that, it's just not good for the hair. So I definitely recommend letting your hair air dry. Just let it fucking air dry, okay? Wash your hair at night, then when it's damp, put it in a braid or something, go to bed, or try to stay up as long as you can, let it dry a little bit, brush it, whatever. Um, just do not blow dry your hair, it's so bad for your hair. I cannot tell you, I don't care what hair texture you have, use a flat iron once it's completely dry, okay? Put some oil on your hair, put some heat protection on your hair, and straighten it or curl it or whatever you want to do please let your hair naturally air dry and eventually your hair will start to look nice when it dries naturally okay believe me believe it or not your hair's not gonna look so frizzy it's not gonna look so dead when it just dries naturally and then you can style it and you're gonna have so much more moisture and softness in your hair don't blow dry your hair and I'm a hairdresser and I'm telling you that so just don't do it don't it's bad it's bad it's bad treat yourself come to the hair salon let me blow dry your hair every once in a while, but don't do it all the time because it's really bad. Number four is use oils on your hair. When you're washing your hair, like I said before, you're stripping all the oil out of your hair. So putting oils back into your hair, especially your ends where the oil from your head cannot get to your ends because, well, your hair, unless it's like a, like short, the oil is not going to get to your ends. So you're not gonna have healthy hair. That's why when you have short hair, your hair grows really fast is because your oil is like all over that shit and <laughs> it will grow. But once you get to longer lengths, the oil's never gonna get down here. It's just not. So you need to add oils to your hair. Also products like uh, leave-in conditioners and um, detangling sprays are very good as well. 
but I would mainly focus on getting a good oil for your hair. Now the oil I would recommend is the Chi Argan Oil plus Morg Morga? I don't, I don't know. This one. <laughs> and I got this, I got one for myself, one for my friend, and she's in love with it. She loves it and she has a very coarse, um, like Mediterranean hair and her hair just sucks it in and it just it's like so nice now I, I her hair looks beautiful it looks way better than when I met her um, a lot healthier and it's growing a lot faster too anyways um, so this is the Chi Argan Oil and I got this from the pro store I'm sure they sell it at Sally's I know they sell I swear they sell Chi at Sally's I don't know um, but this is a very very special oil and it's special because it has a lot of different oils in it and it's pure oil. Moroccan oil is good. Don't get me wrong, Moroccan oil is good. Oils are just really, really good because they have really small mon monocules. Monocules. Monofucking cules. Like, no. They have very small molecules that can penetrate the hair. And so the oil can get into your cuticle and get into your hair and really, really nourish it. So that's why I love oils over leave-in conditioners and, um detangling sprays and stuff like those are all they're good like for like to add to your collection but this is something you need is an oil for your hair um this one personally I just really really love it smells good um it's it's just a good one I really like this one I notice the difference in my hair my hair is softer and more manageable and I just really really love it so I just use this after my shower and if I'm like haven't had a shampoo in a while and my ends are starting to get dry which does happen I will pop a little bit on my ends but not too much because your hair will look greasy real quick if you be putting oil on dry hair so don't do that <laughs> that's why you have leave-in conditioners and detangling sprays so this one is a really really good one for um, detangling sprays I have this one this one is that it's a 10 or not it's a 10 what am I talking about it's a 10 is good though um, the Total Repair 5, which is a really, really good one as well. Um, it's just a good detangling spray. I wouldn't use this as a, like, leave-in conditioner or anything because I don't think that it's, um, nourishing enough. But this is good if your hair is really tangly. Spray this on, brush it out, be gentle. This is good for that. So, number five is using the wet brush, which I highly recommend as your main bitch brush because you will not find a brush any better than this brush. And you can also use a comb. This one, it's the wet brush comb. I don't know if this is like only pros can get it. I don't really know. But you can buy this at Sally's, I think. Or online, Amazon, whatever. I have three of these brushes. This brush has changed my freaking life. My hair gets so tangly after a few days. It gets dry at the ends. Um, it just gets very, very dry. So I use this brush and it's so gentle i use this on fresh out of the shower hair i use this in the shower i'm obsessed with this brush this brush has saved my hair it's so gentle and it's just amazing for detangling so i highly 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 recommend this brush it's the wet brush the original wet brush you can get a million different colors i'm obsessed everybody's getting one for christmas everybody because this brush is so good um so this is the wet brush the that brand but a comb I use this for cutting hair um, I just really love it for when I'm cutting hair because it's really big and I can just use it and it detangles really really good so I'm sure you could use this for a de detangling comb if you don't like using a brush but if you don't like using a brush I would still recommend this brush because you will like it I promise you and it's like 20 bucks so get over it and buy it and try it <laughs> so yes there is a comb option as well for the wet brush if you like combs better there's this comb so tip number six is to put your hair up while you sleep I never realized until recently how crucial this rule is because when you sleep especially if you sleep on just like a regular pillowcase your hair from moving around even if you're just laying flat moving around tangles your hair so bad especially the ends the back it just gets very very tangled and you can break a lot of hair that way so you definitely want to be putting your hair up either in a ponytail a bun a braid whatever while you're sleeping even if you curled your hair I don't care 
I don't care if you curl your hair. You need to put your hair up because your hair is going to get so damaged while you sleep from rolling around and making it all matted. So like seriously, be careful. Put your hair up in a ponytail, put it up in a bun, a bobby pin bun. Like put it up in a bun and then bobby pin it so you don't have that elastic line. I totally get you don't want that. Um, or use a really, really skinny elastic. I don't care. But you need to put your hair up while you sleep because it's going to save it from getting damaged all night. So definitely, definitely do that one. So number seven is heat protectant. You need to use heat protectant. I only put it on my hair. I have a special bottle. This is not like, it's not good, <laughs> but I use it. Like it doesn't do anything for my hair. It just protects it. Um, this is just a random L'Oreal one that was on sale. There's like barely anything left. If you're going to put heat on your hair, I don't care if you just blow dried it and you put a heat protectant on before, you need to put one on again if you're gonna do anything to your hair. If you're gonna flat iron it, curl it, whatever. Put heat protectant on your hair because your hair needs it. It just needs it. It needs that protection. Um, I would recommend very, very minimal heat. If you are going to heat style your hair, put it on low. Um, you think it's not doing anything, I don't care. Put it on low. Do not put, you don't need high. You don't need, if you have hair like me, you don't need the flat iron on high. It doesn't need to happen. Don't use chi. If you have hair like mine, that's fine. Unless you have very, very coarse Indian hair or Mediterranean hair, you do not need a chi flat. Do you know how hot they get? They get so hot. You don't need the heat. You don't need it. <sighs> so yes, minimal heat. I heat style my hair once every wash. I might touch it up every once in a while. I do go to school. I do go to the salon. I need to look nice. So I do maybe touch it up a little bit, but once a week I will put heat on my hair and that's it. Do not do anything else. And I only put it on like the ends. I literally curl the ends with my flat iron. That's it. I don't need to go crazy and I put it on low and that's it. So number eight is oil treatments. Oil treatments are very, very good for the hair. They put oil back in the hair, they moisturize, they whatever. Doing a good massage when you're doing an oil treatment is very crucial because it stimulates the scalp, it relaxes the scalp, helps your hair grow, helps that oil get into your hair. It's all good stuff. Um, I do a coconut oil treatment maybe twice a month, I would say, because I only wash my hair once a week. So that's four shampoos, probably one or two a month, I want to say. Um, and when I do them, I leave them in for a long time or overnight. And I do a coconut oil treatment. I'll get my coconut oil. Hold up. So this is my coconut oil. I got it from Costco, Kirkland brand. Um, it's huge. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought this. Uh, I hope it doesn't expire. I just thought of that. I don't think it would, though. Oh, it does, but it expires in 2018, so I think I'll be okay. Um, so all I do is scoop some of this out, put it in a mug, microwave it till it's warm. Do not put it on your head hot. That might hurt. Um, this was like 30 bucks, I want to say. It was, it was good. Like, I've been through two small containers, and I was like, okay, I've had enough because it gets expensive. So I figured Costco brand's going to be cheaper, and I'll just buy in bulk because I know I'm going to use it. Um... So yes, put that on your hair when it's warm, massage your scalp, whatever, get it on the ends really, really good, put it up in a bun, maybe go under some a little bit of heat, not heat, heat, but like warm, because it'll open up the cuticles, whatever you need to do, girl, you do it, and your hair is going to love you for it. So number nine is, do not, and this is me saying this, so... <laughs> Do not color your hair. Do not tone your hair. Do not do any sort of color treatment. Don't fucking perm your hair, obviously, but don't do any treatments to your hair that involve chemicals, developer peroxide. You can use semi-permanent hair color, which is just a pigment. You don't use developer with it. That's fine. I did that for a long time when I had red hair. That was just a pigment. Did not damage my hair. It actually nourished my hair, if anything. Um, but do not color your hair. Even toning your hair is opening the cuticle. Do not open the cuticle of your hair. When you are trying to grow your hair, make your hair healthy, there's, just get to the color you need to get to. Like with my hair color right now, I don't need to color my hair because 
my roots are the color of my roots. So when they grow in, it's not going to make a big difference. So that's a big tip. Do not color your hair. Um, just, just leave your hair alone. Let it grow. Let it be healthy. Let the oils come back into its life. Let it marinate on your head and like it will love you for it and it will grow and be healthy and beautiful. So just make sure you don't color your hair. And if you do, use a demi. Use, do it once. Do it once and then say no more. <laughs> just do, if you want to, if you want to grow your hair, either leave it alone or be like, okay, if I do this color, I don't need to color it as often. Put that color on your hair and leave it alone. Because opening the cuticle, if you're using a developer, especially a developer higher than five or seven, you are opening the cuticle. Okay, you're opening the cuticle and it's not good for your hair. It's just not good for your hair. Just let your hair, let the cuticle smooth out. Let, let it be, let it grow. Everybody will be happy, okay? <laughs> so my very last tip, which is my 10th tip, is to drink lots of water okay you need to drink water this is not a sponsorship by Nestle although I do enjoy Nestle water I've got to say it um, drink water I drink like six water bottles a day and it makes such a difference not only in your hair but in your skin it's just moisture it's all that moisture you need in your hair and your nails and your skin and everything you need water you are 75% water you need to drink water I can't say that enough when I see people that like if I'm around them all day and I don't see them drink water like once I'm like I'm drinking water every five minutes <laughs> I feel like I need water like it helps me with my anxiety with everything I just love water so much I can't even tell you um so drinking water I think definitely definitely helps you grow your hair and yes so I hope I could have helped somebody today with my tips and tricks. Obviously, if you do all of them, that's awesome. You're definitely going to have healthy hair um, in in the month um, coming up, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, you don't have to buy all the things I bought. But, you know, a mask, an oil, you know, those things are going to help you so much with your hair. And you don't have to buy the most expensive. Just go on YouTube like you are right now and look up reviews for hair masks and affordable whatever like just try and I'm sure your hair will thank you for it and I will thank you for it because I want everybody to have beautiful healthy hair that's the world that I want to live in <laughs> so anyways um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon bye